Hey everybody, I'm Julie. And I'm Heather. And we're Nadine the band, and this is an original song called Timeline.
written sometime during quarantine. Hey. That song is kind of about sabotaging yourself and getting in your own way and refusing to take blame or accountability for your actions. You're just gonna blame it on everybody else. It's everybody else's problem. Um, I'll be the root of every problem and then blame it all on them. You did this, but you're blaming it on someone else. Like, mm. I feel like, this is not autobiographical. This isn't about a specific thing that happened to me or anything. It's just kind of in general. If you feel like you've been this person who've kind of pushed people away and who've kind of, you know, made your own problems worse, kind of been a, like had a fear of success maybe, mm. or if you feel like somebody else has kind of done that to you or maybe they're, they're causing an issue but then they're blaming you for it, I'll always be the victim and I'll drive that nail in deep. I'm the victim, you did this to me and I'm that's my story and I'm sticking to it. There's also a line in there about being an imposter. What's that line? I can be my own monster underneath my own bed. I can't see the imposter if she's hiding in my head. Mm. I can't call myself out because I can't see myself from the outside. Ooh, it's you know? good. Look at you Thank go. You. Thank you. Songwriter. And it's true. Like when things are happening to you and you're reacting the way you react, you can't really see that if you've done something wrong as well. It's interesting before because you said kind of self-sabotaging and being afraid of success. And then the fact that you said imposter, there's a thing called imposter syndrome. And actually yes. a lot of millennials have it where I do. Yeah. So bad. Oh yeah. We feel so like. Bad. If we get a certain amount of success, we kind of feel like we don't deserve it. Mm -hmm. I'm also an artist. I think I'm good. And then I'll see somebody who could just do something that's insane. Uh. And then I'm like, oh no, I'm trash. The chorus of this song, timeline, I can't see the timeline. It's like when you write a timeline out and there are certain things that are gonna happen in the future, but you can't see them. So it's like, I'm not psychic. I can't see what's coming, but I know you're in mine, but there's somebody that's gonna be there to help me. Like coffee. Yes. I need some help from coffee. Out You're there. out there. Groping for you. I can't see anything, but I'm just out there groping for you. <laughs> if I accidentally grab you inappropriately, I'm sorry. I couldn't see. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. The combination of like the really relatable and very like blunt lyrics. I was going to say blunt. Yeah. Yes. They're just kind of like. This is not one of those kind of like cryptic rock songs where you're not really saying anything. Like I've written just, those as well. Hell yeah. Whereas like this string of words sounds cool together. Don't ask me what it means. Oh, but we are kind of known to try to see what's in our timeline by getting psychic readings. <laughs> you can watch that up here. We tried to break the timeline system by getting psychic drawings of our future husbands. We got four different drawings. You can watch that video up here because it's almost time for all of them to have lapsed. They all said like, you're gonna meet this person on this day. My last date is in March. So we are, I'm almost done. May was my last one, I think. Oh, so you still have a little bit more time. For the people who are here for the psychic drawing update, that will come. We just wanted to make sure we were gonna end up alone before committing to the update. So as soon as I know for sure that I'm gonna be alone, that my my the husband is not coming, I'll let you know. Yeah, that it's all fake. One thing I will say, mm. I know this is old news. A while ago, Joel from Rumi Official talked about one of our songs on his video and he like critiqued it. And it was cool, but it was a roasting, so it was supposed to all be negative. Yeah. It, I mean, it wasn't like... It was okay, we're fine. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. But I would like to have another go at him. Yes. I would like for maybe him to hear more of our music and maybe to try to think of it in more of a positive way. Yes. Because I do think we're better than what was on his video. I'd like to have another go at that if ever the opportunity arose. That would be awesome. So uh, maybe, maybe if you guys see this video and you know what we're talking about, this video up here where uh, Joel from Rumi Official with 7 million followers roasted one of our songs. This is our reaction to it. Maybe you could send him an email. We'll put the email link Ooh. down down in our, con the thing down here. Description? Description. We'll put the email link down in the description. <laughs> Maybe you guys could like spam him and email him and tell him that he needs to give us another chance. That'd be so 
Super cool. Watch, he sees all of our stuff and then he's like, eh. Does it bug you? Ah, I don't like it. it I doesn't, don't like it. It doesn't bug me that much. It's because you can't hear it. <laughs> I mean, like, you can't though. <laughs> I'm deaf. Slightly. I have hearing damage from when I was a kid. And I used to go swimming and then I would get ear infections and then I would get scar tissue in there and I can't hear very well. Yeah, and then we started a rock band. People would come up to me and be like, you really need to wear like earplugs or hearing monitors or something? And I'd be like, what? I wore earplugs when we used to play big shows. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm responsible. Uh, she is legitimately hard to live with. With a combination of you not being able to hear me and me mumbling like an idiot. You mumble. I do mumble. She mumbles. A lot of the times I'm not even talking to you. I'm literally, I'm talking to myself or I'm talking to my coffee. I'm talking to something or just making noises or something. And then you'll be like, what? what? Make me say this stupid thing again, dang it. When Joel roasted our music and called us loud, louder, loudest, that was actually pretty mean because I have hearing loss. Not cool, Joel. No. <laughs> Just asking mm. Gen Z, are these pants okay? Are you okay with these pants? I know you're not okay with my side part, but you can go s Yes, there's a reason my hair is split to one side. This is why we side part. Is that the middle? Yours is better than mine. I look like the girl from Bridgerton, but without being like, thin and stunning. Oh my God, the Bridgerton man. Can we just take a moment? What? Cool. Thank you guys so much for watching our videos and thank you to everybody who subscribed. We don't get floods of subscribers. We don't get a ton of subscribers. We'll get maybe like three or four a day. We notice every single subscriber we get. We really do. We don't know exactly who you are because sometimes your profile pops up. Sometimes it'll say we have a subscriber but we'll, they'll be invisible. But we see every time somebody subscribes and every time somebody subscribes, it just makes us so happy and we are just so grateful that the people who are watching are watching. Thank you, every single person who is subscribed right now. We really appreciate it. It means a lot to us. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Let us know down in the comments, what did you think about our new original song, Timeline? Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell so you guys know when we post a new video. We hope that you look forward to our videos every Friday because we look forward to putting them out there for you guys. So thank you so much and we'll see you next week. Bye.